Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I have a lot of apps installed on my iPhone. The list kind of goes on and on and on and on and on, like me. And it's fun to install a new app on a smartphone, but I also use this as I would pretty much any computer. Yes, that's right. This smartphone is a computer. It's got hardware, software, an operating system, does everything I need it to do, and then some. And if you need to get some stuff done, don't feel you need to be strapped to some kind of desktop or traditional laptop machine. In fact, uh, some tools have been completely replaced. Uh, you know, hardware has been replaced through smartphone applications. Uh, this phone is a computer, and it's made me so much more productive with the things that I need to do for a job to pay the bills. And we've listed out our top 10 productivity apps for the iPhone. Now, even if you're sitting there, I don't have an iPhone, I have another phone. Fine. Some of these apps, in fact, many of them have cross-platform counterparts. Uh, one of the apps, which was going to be mentioned inevitably, we mentioned it seemingly in every article that we post on LockerGnome.com, Evernote. People love Evernote, especially if you're trying to keep your notes synchronized between a variety of platforms. Evernote certainly does have an iOS conduit. Uh, Dropbox, another one. You've probably heard about it before. If you do anything in the world of sharing files legitimately online, but a few that you may not have heard of uh, that can turn your phone into something beyond a phone. Uh, I use these applications that turn it into a scanner. So if I can find, if I can find the, I, I went so deep, I forgot where I was. Uh, so I have scanning applications, including JotNot Pro, Genius Scan, Prismo, Signit, Card Scan, Turbo Scan, Cam Scanner, Card Munch, DocuSign. That's just in my DocuScans folder on my iPhone. It turns this little camera into a scanner. And so I make PDFs and send them all over the place, whether email, Google Docs, Dropbox. Uh, this is a scanner. And even if I'm standing just feet away from a, a desktop scanner, I'd still rather use this because it's easier. It's so much easier to use this when there's an app that is developed with whatever tool you have in mind. And to me, that's the best app of them all, is the one that does what you need it to do when you need it to do it. Uh, I also recommend uh, iTalk as a way to uh, better uh, you know, record your voice in some type of voice memo. Of course, using the default voice memo application is just as fine or just as good. But what I like about iTalk is that it allows you to browse all those audio files uh, from any machine on your local network. Easy, convenient, it's right there. Uh, you know, we've got a couple of other apps listed, including Skyfire, an alternative browser that on uh, iOS will allow you to watch Flash-based content. Gmail, TeamViewer, Skype, and you, oh, what would I use Skype for? Did you know uh, there is a camera, I gotta pull this up now, I gotta show you. There's a camera you can get uh, from Lorex that will allow you to use another Skype account that you sign up for for free, and it will allow you to make video calls to up to four cameras on that network. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I have a camera in my garage that uh, I have set up on Skype because it's got it tied in, a Skype account tied into the camera, and I press video call on Skype, and what will happen is it will connect to that, that camera remotely. See, so there's a preview of me right here. Give it a second, and you will see in just a moment, beyond my nostril, look at my nostril, it's connecting to Skype that's running on a camera, and it should, there we go, it's, it's connecting, it's pulling up the video in just a second. How does this increase productivity? Because sometimes I don't remember if I closed the garage door. Now I can without having to run downstairs or drive across town to find out. Kind of neat. So if you have any other recommendations for productivity apps on the go, uh, whether we're talking about an Android device, an iPhone, Windows Phone 7, whatever, you have recommendations to make, we are all ears. Take a look, and all eyes too, take a look at the article where we've listed all of them, including direct links to where you can get them. And please, if you have anything else to share, let us know.